good day and welcome to our 2020 Virtual Senior Awards Ceremony. I am Mike Cairo, Interim Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of the University. It is an honor to welcome all of you watching to this celebration honoring many of our graduates. I would like to recognize the faculty and staff who have put this award ceremony together for our seniors. I would also like to recognize and send warm greetings to the family members and friends who are watching with us today. While we are disappointed we cannot be with you in person as we recognize this year's award winners, our faculty, staff, and administrators are nevertheless very proud of what these seniors have accomplished. We are pleased to join you in celebrating their many achievements. Members of our faculty and other distinguished representatives will present the awards to our graduates. I have the honor of announcing the first two awards, starting with the Senior Class Award. This award is presented each year to the graduate or graduates with the highest grade point average. This year, we have four outstanding recipients who have maintained a 4.0 grade point average for all four years. The 2020 recipients are Rachel Fine, Rebecca Fine, Sarah Hall, and Ruby Smith. This is an incredible achievement, and I would like you to know that we are extremely proud of your hard work and dedication to your academics. Congratulations. Next, I am pleased to present the Dean's Purchase Award. Beginning in 2001, the academic dean has selected a piece of artwork from Moreland Gallery's juried student exhibition to add to the university's permanent collection. The honor of being included in the university's permanent collection is given to an artwork of superior creative and technical accomplishment. The recipient of this year's Dean's Purchase Award is Zachary Pulliam for his colored pencil artwork, Parrot. Congratulations. I would like to introduce our next presenter, Jordan Hancock, President of the Student Government Association. Thank you, Dean Cairo. The first award I will be presenting is the President's Award for Outstanding Transylvanian. Annually, the Student Government Association recognizes an individual who has given their time and energies to better develop the organizational leadership and student life here at Transylvania University. The recipient of the President's Award for Outstanding Transylvanian is Candace Cox. The second pair of awards I will be presenting comprise the Monroe Moosnick Memorial Award. The Monroe Moosnick Memorial Award was created by the Student Government Association to honor a student and a faculty staff member who has consistently made a contribution in the Transylvania community in the same spirit that Dr. Moosnick contributed for over 50 years. The student recipient this year of the Monroe Moosnick Memorial Award is Amanda Moberly. The faculty staff recipient is Sherry Spencer. Congratulations to Candace, Amanda, and Sherry. Presenting next is Sarah Agard, 2019-2020 President of Omicron Delta Kappa. Thank you, Jordan. I am presenting the Omicron Delta Kappa Leader of the Year Award. The Leader of the Year Award is given to a member of ODK who has demonstrated leadership in numerous ways throughout his or her collegiate career. This Leader of the Year Award goes to Diaka Salome. Diaka is very committed to scholarship and building up the Transylvania community. This is evident through her involvement as a first engagements coordinator, a pioneer pathway mentor, a tutor at the Carnegie Center, a journalist for the Rambler, and a member of ODK. Diaga is highly regarded by her peers on campus as a leader. Presenting the next award is Ben Hawkins, Professor of Music. Thank you, Sarah. I have the privilege to present two awards. The Transylvania Band's Outstanding Service Award is decided by a vote of band members and given to a member who has made the greatest overall contribution, musically and otherwise, over a period of years. This year's recipient is Shauna Morton. An outstanding bassoonist and baritone saxophonist, Shauna has represented a model of musicianship and servant leadership throughout her career. She has performed at a high level, concert band, pet band, 
jazz ensemble, and chamber orchestra. Whenever called upon, she responded to the fullest. The respect and affection she has earned from her fellow musicians is exemplified in her selection for the Outstanding Service Award. The Transylvania Orchestra Outstanding Service Award is decided by a vote of the orchestra members and given to a member who has made the greatest overall contribution, musically and otherwise, over a period of years. This year's recipient is Bradley Ballander. Returning to the violin after several years of not playing, Bradley joined the orchestra in the second semester of her sophomore year. Although her playing was a bit rusty, she quickly gained and maintained the respect of her fellow orchestra musicians through her sunny attitude, her receptivity to correction, and her devotion to improvement. As the only graduating senior this year, her leadership by example was indispensable to the continued growth of the orchestra. The next presenter is Dr. Regan McNay, Director of Choral Activities. Thank you, Dr. Hawkins. Hello, I'm Dr. Regan McNay, Director of Choral Activities. The Transylvania Choir Outstanding Senior Award goes to a student who shows dedication and leadership to the Transy Choral Program. This year's recipient is Sydney Dunaway. She has sung in one or both choirs every semester throughout her undergrad. Every rehearsal, she was on time, her eyes were out of the score, and her bubbly demeanor lifted the atmosphere of rehearsal. She was my go-to person for questions, my guide for what had been done before me, and my sounding board for whether the singers would like an idea. And on top of that, her strong, clear soprano voice anchored the choir while her willingness to try all exercises and body percussion provided silent leadership to the rest of the group. Sydney, thank you for everything. Your future choirs and directors eagerly await you. Congratulations. Presenting the next award is Tiffany Wheeler, Education Program Director. Thank you, Dr. McNay. I am presenting the Transylvania University Education and Social Change Award. The Education and Social Change Award is given to a senior who exemplifies exceptional scholarship and thoughtful engagement in the study of educational foundations, history, and philosophy. Additionally, the award honors a student who exhibits outstanding character and promise of being a public intellectual who impacts social change. This year's recipient of the Education and Social Change Award is Lauren Willard. Lauren is an excellent student who epitomizes what it means to be a scholar of the liberal arts. In every course that she takes, she consistently makes insightful contributions to the classroom experience and embodies the education program theme of being a public intellectual who cares. Congratulations, Lauren. Presenting the next award is Dr. Elizabeth Corson, Associate Professor of English. Thank you, Dr. Wheeler. Very pleased today to be presenting two awards, the Rushman Award given to an outstanding graduating English major and the Helen D. Zervin Prize, which honors the legacy and spirit of Dr. Irvin. Dr. Irvin was a professor at Transylvania University during the 1970s and 80s and was instrumental in establishing women's studies and women in literature courses. This award goes to a senior English major who has done exceptional work in the field of literary and gender studies. Great pleasure, I announce that Candace Cox is the recipient of both these awards. Candace has been a stellar English major. It's been my pleasure to work with her from her very first year at Transylvania in an intro to fiction course, and then over the course of the next four, taking I think, five or six English courses, including an independent study, which she organized herself on Jane Austen. Finally, this last semester, she completed a very impressive senior capstone uh, research essay entitled A Tale of Two Lydia's Agency and Victimhood in Pride and Prejudice and the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. So congratulations, Candace. Now I would like to introduce the next presenter, 
Cheng Dao, Associate Professor of Chinese. Dr. Kursan. The Ruchman Foreign Language Award was created to award a graduating senior who had excelled in his or her foreign language study. This year, the Ruchman Foreign Language Award for the Chinese language goes to Gabby Odendick. Gabby started to learn Chinese when she was a freshman at Transylvania, and she fell in love with it instantly. Gabby was also the recipient of the Confucius Classroom Scholarship, which sent her to the Shanghai University Summer School for Language and Culture Study. Gabby also has served as the president for the China Studies Club at Transylvania for two years. And she has worked actively to share her passion in China studies and in helping to promote Chinese language and culture study, both on campus and to our larger learning community. So congratulations, Gabby. Presenting the next award is Dr. Simonetta Kokis, Professor of French. Thank you, Professor Gao. I am presenting the 2020 Rushman Award for French. The Rushman Award for French recognizes the achievements of an exceptional student who demonstrates exemplary dedication to scholarly inquiry, mastery of the French language, sustained engagement with the activities of the French program, and a deep appreciation for French and Francophone cultural and intellectual heritage around the world. This year, the Rushman Award for French goes to Kira Marie Bruno. Kira Bruno is a humanist, une humaniste in the fullest sense of the word. Her ability to engage with literary and cultural texts, as well as her creativity and her intuitive research skills make her a formidable scholar. For example, her senior thesis on Jean-Paul Sartre's La Nausée reveals a unique approach. She used an innovative critical lens to analyze the novel, not as a manifesto of the absurd, but as a path to self-discovery. Her paper shows how intercultural perspectives and a liberally educated mind can bring to light new and valuable lessons. In addition to being a noteworthy scholar, Kira Bruno is a pillar of the French program. She is engaged in program activities in profoundly thoughtful ways. She is patient and generous with her time, having worked diligently as a French tutor, helping dozens of her peers reach their best potential. Her exceptional kindness, generosity of spirit, and altruism are exemplary. Both Dr. Argenbright and I are very happy for Kira. She is moving to France in September to work as a teaching assistant in the Sister Cities program in Deauville. We know she will be a fantastic teacher, and we wish her all the best for her new life in France. Félicitations, Kira. And now, presenting the next award is Priya Anand, instructor of Spanish. Thank you, Dr. Coquise. It is my honor to present the Ruckman Foreign Language Award for Spanish. The Ruckman Foreign Language Award for Spanish is given to the student who has excelled in the study of the Spanish language, literature, and culture, as well as actively contributed to the enrichment of the Spanish program here at Transylvania University. This year's Ruckman Foreign Language Award for Spanish goes to Hadley Treneman. During her time here at Trans Transy, Hadley has proven to be a mature, driven, articulate, and conscientious student who has impressed all of her Spanish professors with her genuine intellectual curiosity and her consistent critical and thoughtful analysis of various works and themes related to the Spanish-speaking world. We are very proud of her work and her accomplishments in our classes. In addition to her academic success, Hadley was inducted into the National Spanish Honor Society this past year and has always been a dedicated student of the Spanish language and an admirable supporter of the foreign language program as well as her fellow classmates. For these reasons, we are delighted to present her with this award. Congratulations, Hadley. 
Presenting the next award will be Dr. Michael Kelly, Assistant Professor of Mathematics. Thank you, Professor Anand. I am presenting the Rushman Mathematics Award. The Rushman Mathematics Award is given to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in the area of mathematics throughout their career at Transylvania. The winner's name will be displayed on a plaque in the Mathematics Hallway of Brown Science Center. This year's Rushman Mathematics Award winner is Sarah Hall. Although I've only had class with Sarah once, uh, it actually was this past semester as an independent study, she almost got out of Transylvania without having me, but I'm glad she decided to take my course. She has impressed both me and my colleagues with her intelligence and her willingness to learn. She has a vested interest in understanding the material and applying it to other areas of interest, such as accounting. She was a pleasure to have in my course and an exemplary student who represents our program very well. Congratulations, Sarah. Presenting the next award is Josh Atkins, Biology Lab Coordinator. Thank you, Dr. Kelly. I'm excited to present the Ruckman Biology Award, which recognizes a biology student for excellence and growth in biology and with a genuine love for the natural world. This year's Ruckman Biology Award goes to Harper Zeitz. If you know Harper, you know that she has a genuine enthusiasm and love for biology and the environment. And she also motivates other students to do their very best in their coursework and in their research. She's been really successful in her research as well, presenting a poster on her research project with Dr. Lowe at the 2019 Kentucky Wildlife Society meeting, where she presented on life history traits in bats as an indicator for viral richness. Harper has been an important part of the biology program as a work study for the past two years. And I speak for all of my biology colleagues when I say that we've really enjoyed having Harper on the third floor of Brown Science. Congratulations, Harper. We're really proud of you. And now our next presenter is Robin Pritchard, coordinator of pre-health preparation programs. Robin. Thank you, Dr. Atkins. I am presenting the White House Pre-Medical Award. The White House Pre-Medical Award goes to a student who has been accepted into medical school this year and has demonstrated the highest level of academic and personal excellence. This year's White House Pre-Medical Award goes to Alex Volker. Alex will attend medical school at the University of Kentucky's Northern Kentucky campus. Alex was accepted into medical school her sophomore year at Trancy. She is the first student to be a part of our Early Assurance Program with UK's College of Medicine. Alex has been known as a leader both in and out of the classroom during her time at Trancy. She also has consistently shown her passion for medicine, including shadowing physicians in Italy and participating in a gross anatomy lab. Alex is an outstanding student with a tremendous work ethic. Alex is going to be a very successful physician. I also am presenting the Trover Health Science Award. The Trover Health Science Award is given to an academically excellent student who is grounded in the concept of humanism and healthcare, has successfully completed the pre-health process at Trancy, and has shown resolve and Faced, when faced with adversity. This year's Trover Health Science Award goes to Taylor Gray. As a Trancy student, Taylor Gray has been fully engaged in pursuing her dream to become a physician. She has served as president of Fadi E, the pre-med fraternity, as well as has served on the pre-health leadership team. Taylor has displayed the characteristics of perseverance and determination, all the while excelling academically and contributing to the Transylvania community. Words the Pre-Health Committee used to describe Taylor include kind, honest, hardworking, humble, empathetic, and dependable. Presenting the next award is Dr. Ava Shuhai, Professor of Chemistry. Thank you, Robin. The American Institutes of Chemistry Award is presented to an outstanding senior chemistry major 
who is selected for ability, character, scholastic achievement, and accomplishment in chemical research. The 2020 recipient is Drew Grisha. Drew impressed the chemistry faculty not only by the fact that he picked out and set up his own research topic, but also by his hard work, his dedication, and above all, his ability to troubleshoot and solve problems as he went. His focus and work ethic will serve him well in the real world of chemistry. Congratulations, Drew. The Monroe Musnick Chemistry Award was established in honor of a longtime chemistry professor at Transylvania. It is given annually to a graduating chemistry student who has achieved academic excellence in chemistry. The 2020 recipient is Amanda Moberly. Amanda was not only a top chemistry student in terms of her grades, but she was also an overall top student on campus this year. She was one of the movers and shakers in the first engagement program. She was one of the most important figures in our science tutoring program. She was a president of her sorority, the tri -Delts. Uh, she also engaged in many, many charitable causes, volunteered countless number of hours in, in good causes. She is a respected officer of the Pre-Dental Club, of which she was also one of the founders. Uh, we really shouldn't stop listing Amanda's accomplishments, but in the interest of time, congratulations, Amanda. Job well done. It is my pleasure to introduce the next presenter, Dr. Robert England, Associate Professor of Computer Science. Thank you, Dr. Shuhai. The James E. Miller Award goes to Transylvania's outstanding graduating senior in computer science. This year's award recipient traversed several continents and learned several new languages, all in his quest to be the best of the best in computer science at Transy. Congratulations, Adrian Engelbrecht, international man of computing. An unusually generous student with many and varied accomplishments beyond his exemplary coursework in CS at Transy, Adrian married the lovely Amy, fostered a puppy, and graciously loaned his own personal virtual reality equipment to a group of other CS students so that they could continue work on a project after our endless spring break. Next up, Adrian will study AI and machine learning in grad school, internationally, of course. Our next presenter is Dr. Stephen Johnson, Assistant Professor of Physics. Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Dr. England. Each year, the Rushman Award in Physics is given to a senior physics major who has demonstrated excellence in their coursework and studies. This year, we are proud to announce that two outstanding seniors will share the award, Haley Patno and Zach Pulliam. Hailing from Jackson, Wyoming, Haley will leave an enduring impact on the physics program thanks to her adventurous personality combined with a keen ability to understand physics and the natural world. As a transy physics major, Haley completed the 401 engineering program at UK while still managing to excel in her physics coursework and earn physics program honors. She has been accepted into multiple graduate programs for engineering and plans to attend the University of Colorado Boulder in the fall to study mechanical engineering. Congratulations, Haley. Besides having the distinction as the tallest and best basketball player to graduate with a transy physics degree, Zach, Zach Pulliam has demonstrated excellence in his studies at every step along the way. His calm persistence consistently earned him high marks in all of his physics classes, and he will graduate with honors in physics while also having completed the 4-1 engineering program at UK. Zach's artistic and drawing skills were also pleasantly manifest in what were the neatest, most cleanly written homework and test solution in Transylvania's 240-year history. Zach has been accepted into multiple graduate programs for engineering and plans to attend the University of Kentucky this fall to study radiation science. The physics program congratulates Haley and Zach on their accomplishments and wishes them the best of success in their continued studies. Now the next presenter will be Dr. Kirk Abraham, Professor of Health and Exercise Science. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. It is my pleasure to present the award for the Major of the Year in Health and Exercise Science. This award goes to the outstanding graduating senior who demonstrates excellence in the classroom and overall performance in the major. This year's Major of the Year in Health and Exercise Science is Grace Gallion. 
Grace is not only a fantastic student who has mastered lab reports and research papers and exams, but she goes above and beyond in everything she does. She comes to class prepared, contributes to class discussions, and always seems to have a smile on her face. Congratulations, Grace. And now to present the next award, Christy Hain, Assistant Professor in Accounting. Thank you, Kirk. I'm here today to present the Excellence in Accounting Award. The Excellence in Accounting Award is given to the student with the highest GPA in the accounting major. It is to no one's surprise that this year's recipient is Sarah Hall. In regards to having the highest GPA, it's pretty hard to be a 4.0, particularly when that is also your overall GPA. But if it were possible, I'm certain that Sarah could do it. Sarah is a brilliant student. She is smart, she is dedicated, she is prepared every day. And in fact, on most days, I had to resist the urge to have her teach the class instead, as I know she would have done a better job than I could have. After graduation, Sarah has accepted a position with the prestigious firm of Ernst & Young, and I couldn't be more proud of her. Congratulations, Sarah. I am also presenting the Distinguished Student in Accounting Award today. The Distinguished Student in Accounting Award goes to that student that has contributed the most, not only to our program, but also to the university. As the first accounting major to be a recipient of the Shear Scholarship, Meredith Mason has already demonstrated why she is deserving of this award. Meredith is an exemplary student, the type that all professors long to have in class. She joined our major late, and because of that, she was often a class behind her classmates but she never hesitated to be engaging in class or to even take on leadership roles. She has also never passed up any opportunity, whether that be taking part in a brand new first engagements, taking part in a prestigious and competitive internship, or even dressing like a local in Germany and climbing the fest pole. Meredith's greatest contribution, however, has a lasting impact on our future students. In our principal's classes, more often than not, I would hear, Meredith helped me. I couldn't figure it out, but Meredith helped me. So much so that I often wondered when Meredith did her own homework. Meredith has also accepted a position at Ernst & Young, and I know that future students are going to miss her. Congratulations, Meredith. Now I would like to present Dr. Brian Rich, Professor of Sociology. Thank you, Professor Hain. I am presenting the Sociology Scholar Citizen Award. This award is given to the sociology major that has demonstrated both great academic work in their sociology courses and citizenship both on and off the Transylvania University campus. This year's Sociology Scholar Citizen Award goes to Jordan Horn. Jordan has made great progress in her study of sociology, capped by her fascinating senior thesis on the dynamics of interracial partnering and relationships. Jordan has also participated in leadership positions on campus with the Black Student Alliance, the women's volleyball team, and with the Community Action Council of Central Kentucky. Congratulations, Jordan. Great work. Presenting the next award is the famous Dr. Roger Fani, Professor of Economics. Thank you, Dr. Rich. I am presenting the American Delta Epsilon Rara Avis Economics Award. This award is given each year to the outstanding graduating economics major. This year's recipient is Ryan Hughes. It is presented to Ryan Hughes for his commitment to academic excellence and service to the economics program. Presenting the next award is Dr. Julia Pointer, Associate Professor of Business Administration. Thank you, Dr. Fani. The Outstanding Business Administration Rewards Award is a student who epitomizes what the BA faculty has seen as far as future in the discipline, as well as showing leadership during their years at Transylvania University. 
The student must have completed at least a 3.5 in their major work as well as their Transylvania University work. And finally, this person should have demonstrated leadership with their peers through coursework and teamwork. Kenzie Moore is this year's recipient who will be receiving a Business Administration Hospitality Tourism degree. And Kenzie, for you, I wore my pineapple shirt. The pineapple is a symbol for the hospitality industry. Let me tell you a little bit about Kenzie. Not only will she graduate with the highest awards in our major with a perfect 4.0, but she'll also graduate with over a 3.9 from Transylvania University when she finally walks across the virtual stage. In addition to that, while she was balancing that coursework, she also was a student athlete on the women's softball team and served in leadership in her sorority. So that wasn't enough for her because she was awarded not one, not two, but three national competitive internships and several scholarships from national and regional organizations. Um, oh, and her teamwork, as far as her peers, always rated exceptional. And I should know, she completed six of my courses with extensive project work. And finally, you know, even smart students sometimes have expenses that the university is not able to pay. So she's been working because it had to be done. So let's see if we can summarize this. Dream student, yes. Will we miss her? Yes. Will we be glad she graduated from Transylvania University? Definitely. I have teased her and said I expect her to be running Walt Disney World. I'm not joking. And by the way, Kenzie, if you do end up running Walt Disney World, uh, Transylvania University professors might need some tickets. So with that, I would like to pass this off to Melissa McEwen, who is Professor of History, who will present the next award. Dr. McEwen. Thank you, Dr. Pointer. I'm happy to present the Rushman Award in History. This award is given annually to an outstanding senior history major who has not only excelled in the classroom, but has also made an original contribution with their independent research. This year's recipient of the Rushman Award in History is Isaac Settle. In a groundbreaking argument comprised of his senior thesis and an honors thesis, Isaac Settle introduces us to Owensboro, Kentucky native, Maddie Griffith. A young slaveholder who turned against racial slavery, joined the radical abolitionist movement, and reinvigorated it on the eve of the American Civil War with her firsthand accounts of slavery's cruelties. During the war, Griffith fought for emancipation and the 13th Amendment, and after the war, for equal rights. She counted among her close friends Ralph Waldo Emerson, Lydia Maria Child, and Wendell Phillips. And yet, we knew almost nothing about Maddie Griffith until Isaac combed the collections at Harvard, Columbia, the Boston Public Library, the New York Public Library, and several other places to find the many letters and other writings that Maddie Griffith left behind. As Isaac forcefully argues, Griffith's activism has been ignored by historians because she was young, Southern, and female and because her correspondence was scattered, buried actually, in over a dozen places. Isaac Settle's work on Maddie Griffith and her world expands and reshapes the historical narrative on several fronts, that of war, of women, of Kentucky, and the struggle for what Maddie Griffith herself called human freedom. Congratulations, Isaac. Presenting the next award is Dr. Steve Hess, Professor of Political Science. Thank you, Professor McEwen. I'm presenting the Ruckman Political Science Award, which is awarded to the highest achieving graduating senior in the political science program. This year's Ruckman Political Science Award goes to Isaac Settle. During his four years at Transylvania University, Isaac has distinguished himself in the classroom. 
where he has consistently achieved at the highest level, and on campus, where he has stood out as a highly regarded student leader with an impressive record of community engagement. Congratulations, Isaac. It's been real. Presenting the next award is Dr. Meg Upchurch, Professor of Psychology. Thank you, Professor Hess. The Holly and Society honors students who have demonstrated high achievement in the liberal arts. Every year, we recognize and induct the top 10% of students in the graduating class who have liberal arts majors. This year's inductees are Andrew Angel, Samantha Bearfield, Sarah Bedarian, Kira Bruno, Brody Carpenter, Candace Cox, Kristen Glass, Sarah Harley, Catherine Llewellyn, Megan Little, Zachary Minion, Gela Pamukova, Zachary Pulliam, Diaka Savane, Isaac Settle, Ruby Smith, Zachary Wilmack, and Zachary Yakabotsi. The Holly Inn Society also presents awards to students who have made outstanding impacts on campus. These students are nominated by members of the faculty at large and voted on by Holly and Society members. Our first award is for original creative work outside of class. This award goes to Shauna Morton for her many achievements in multiple arts genres. Our second award recognizes students who have made significant contributions to the intellectual and cultural life of the university. This award will be shared by three outstanding students, Michaela Dublin, Maggie Muhlman, and Diaka Savane. Thank you, Professor Upchurch. Transylvania University prides itself on the high caliber of our students. And as you can see, the bar is set very high. I want our graduates to understand that your success benefits not only you, but all those associated with our institution. You are outstanding members of the Transylvania community, and I thank you for representing us so well. I would like to thank Associate Dean Sarah Bray and her assistant, Cindy Whitry, for organizing this virtual event, and I offer my congratulations to all of our award recipients. I hope you will join us for the last lecture, which will take place at 3 p.m. today. Please go to the commencement celebration page on Transylvania's website for the link. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. <laughs>